What I was presented with when I arrived today is correctly the public record of the president's declarations from 2009 to 2017. Now many of us know the fact that Mr. Jacques Poe in his book alleges the fact that the president earned a million rands in the first four months of his presidency. As far as the Executive Ethics Code is concerned, that information should be declared in the public record of the presidency. And what became very clear, having viewed the record, is that none of that information was declared by the president. Furthermore, in the president's declaration, he declares only in 2016 that Mr. Roy Moodley allowed him to use a property in the Durban beachfront for use. Outside of that, he makes no declarations. The president made no declarations of the loan that he would have been, he would have got in the upgrades on the Nganda matter, which would be common cause. If I own a loan as a member of parliament, part of my declaration require me to make that declaration publicly. So the VBS loan was not declared as far as the presidency is concerned. It also became very clear that there were no trips, no donations from Shabir Sheikh, which became part of the record when it came to the president's report in the court case against Shabir Sheikh. None of those were declared. And what we will then request going forward is that we are going to pyre the information that one, that, so that we get further information around the president's private declarations. It's very clear that what was prepared today from the presidency was a public record and a list of gifts which are common cause that come from various heads of state, from inauguration events, they come through from, from there. It is also of great interest that the first time President Vladimir Putin is mentioned is only in 2016 when he sent him, I think, a few books uh, in that regard. So I was deeply dissatisfied with what was presented to us. It's clear that any functions that the president has had, which were sponsored even by Bosasa, were not declared in the public record. And it's clear that there's a lot of issues that are hiding. Given an example, the public record does not give amounts for why something is given to the president. So the Black Management Forum by Jimmy Manye gave president, the president a watch. It simply just says he was given a silver watch. Was it a silver Brightly? Was it a silver Casio? Nobody knows. Because none of these issues are put with a value as to how much it is. It is material to the declaration. If you get given a 100,000 rands watch for a particular item, it's a totally different item from simply saying you were just given a silver watch or just a painting or, as it's repeated a number of times, um, President Robert Mugabe gave the president a number of gifts along the way. Nguni cattle, art, uh, art that was given. It was also clear the fact that in many of the instances that, that were put through, the first number of years of the presidency, unless they would have come through in the privacy section, in the private declaration, it was simply just a matter of gifts and all uh, manner of just gifts. For example, the president in 2011 received gifts from the UAE of a gold watch. Again, no stated amount as to how much it would have been for and a number of, uh, of items from the ANC's Progressive Forum. Gifts being given to the presidency, non, no declarations as to how much. I was deeply saddened that when it was clear that in 2014, when Omar al-Bashir was also here, he also gave gifts to the presidency during that time. And what is obvious of concern is that why is the president receiving gifts from a person who is wanted for crimes of genocide and killing of African people? It was clear that the president is willing to get gifts from anybody. I conclude by showing the fact that, as I say, there are no directorships, no shareholding, none of those have been declared by the presidency. And from henceforth, I'm willing to state under oath that having viewed the declaration of interest and those not having been declared, I will then pyre the information 
and requests that there must be an investigation as to whether or not the president has violated the executive ethics code because information that in our view that is available in the public should have been declared by the president in the public section because it is of interest to all South Africans to know where the presidency has shares, where the presidency has directorships. It is of interest for all of us to know that information so that we can proceed from there. Thank you very much. Any gifts from the Guptas? No gifts from the Guptas were declared in the register that was given to the president. I scanned carefully, even with their names or their respective companies, none of those were declared in, in the presidents from 2009 to 2017.